Alright everybody, it's Brick Builder here, and today we're playing some Hotpixel Sky Wars, and we are going to be discussing something very important, and that is my guild on the Hotpixel server. Now my guild is called the Castaways, and I don't know if you guys remember, but quite a while ago I had a very tiny guild of people in the Castaways. It was like maybe 10 people max, and that was a really long time ago, but now I've officially decided that I'm going to be restarting the guild and all, and doing that thing properly. So, now my guild is going to mostly be a Skywars guild, but of course other game um, people who don't really play Skywars too much or play other games are obviously allowed to join the guild as well, but there has to be some form of stat requirements, because I mean it can't be, you know, everybody can't make it in the guild, it just wouldn't work out, I mean I would love to invite every castaway into the castaways guild, but unfortunately it just doesn't really work out if I do that, so I can't end up doing that. But the guild will be a pretty cool place, and I'll have like a Discord set up for the guild and everything, which will be given to all the guild members and stuff, so we can like do all very cool stuff. But now we need to first try not to die here. But yeah, we have to have requirements just because we can't have everybody make it in. And also, I kind of want to have a certain skill level in the guild. That's kind of like one of my game plan here, is just have everybody here kind of have equal skill, and I would say equal or similar stats. Obviously, if you have above the stats, you should be able to make it in. But yeah, all right, so let's go over here. And then we're gonna do that sharp too, beautiful. Let's quickly make up a nice one of those. And come on, all the XP in the world, we're gonna shoot that down there, but yes. So the guild is called the Castaways, as previously stated. I'm honestly not 100% sure why I called it the Castaways, because I mean, we could have come with a different name that, you know, doesn't relate. But I kind of wanted to keep the Castaway family thing, you know, like that we have on the channel kind of going on the guild as well. So that's why it's the Castaways, and I think it's a decent name, you know, definitely works and definitely sounds pretty good. Now the guild is still very, like, um, basic at the moment since it's just me and the guild. You know, I don't earn enough guild coins to really be able to max out the shop and everything. But that's definitely something we'll be working on, so that'll be very much appreciated. But now we do have a bunch of requirements. Well, actually not too many requirements, and I feel like these requirements are definitely fair. And they're not, you know, impossible to get. You know, these we're not having, like, requirements where it's, like, 50,000 million wins and stuff like that. Where is this last guy at right here? I just want to get rid of them. Oh, they're right over here. Okay. But, yeah, let's do this thing here. Come on, we should be able to outgear this person because we have, like, the prod um, and the sharp three. All right. There we go. But in the next round, I'll tell you guys the requirements. Now, I know the requirements might be slightly high for some people, but remember, if you don't currently have the needed requirements, you know, to join the guild, you guys can always come back to this video when you have the requirements and then post your IGN down in the comments, you know, and then that's pretty much how we're going to do it. So if you guys do have the requirements and want to join the guild, essentially just post your IGN down in the comments, put all your stats down there, and do that sort of thing. But the current requirements to join the guild are... For Sky Wars, you need to have at least 5k total kills. I know it's a decently high amount, but I want people who play the game enough that they have a good quantity of kills. And then you gotta have a thousand wins. I know a thousand wins is also pretty high, and you probably won't have a thousand wins if you only have 5,000 kills, but I'm not 100% sure really at like what the, um, I guess, sort of like ratio is between wins and kills, basically. But we have a pretty high win count since that's kind of like a pretty important thing I think to kind of judge how much you've actually played the game I would say so that's the requirements for Skywars now if you play any other games on the network you don't actually need to have the max out Skywars um, like stats because you play other games as well so put all the other game stats down in your comment as well and I'll definitely look into that and maybe give you access to the guild without actually having all these Skywars stats since Skywars isn't the only game that, you know, is on the network, obviously. Now, the main reason that the stat requirements are pretty high is because we want a guild full of, like, the most elite of elite, if you know what I'm saying. And now, I do... I'm going to answer a question, and I do know the answer to it that a lot of you guys have been asking. A lot of you guys have been asking me if you're going to need a rank to join the server. And no, you will not need a rank to join the guild at all. I think that would just be kind of crazy if I made it where you needed that. Because, truth be told, it doesn't... You know, a rank doesn't define your skill level and your stats and stuff. 
So we're not going to be requiring any rank. You won't need a rank. You could have no rank. You could have MVP. Either or works. Also, high pixel level won't play a factor. I know a couple people were asking me about that as well. You know, do I need to be level 50 to be able to join? No, you don't. You don't need to be level 50 and stuff like that. But you will need Discord. So if you don't have Discord, you're going to need to get that. Since Discord will be a pretty cool thing that the guild will be using a bit. You know, we do have my Discord down in the description. So if you haven't already joined that, you totally should. But yeah, that's kind of the Castaways guild requirements there. But of course, if you play other games as well, Again, make sure to let me know that because I am always looking for, you know, a well-rounded guild full of players who play other games such as Sky Clash, you know, Blitz, etc., Mega Walls and stuff. But if the game that you play doesn't have recorded stats, then you can't tell me that, like, those stats don't count then, basically. Even if you say, oh, I won, I won all the time in, I don't know, a game that doesn't have recorded stats, well, unfortunately, that can't count because we don't accurately know how many you know, wins and stuff you actually have in that game. So we're not gonna, you know, do that sort of thing where if it's a game that doesn't have recorded stats, you can't tell me that you um, do it. But yeah, and of course, in your comment, which is sort of your application, you're gonna need to let me know like your Discord name and the four like numbers that, you know, follow it. In addition to that, you're gonna wanna tell me all your stats and your Minecraft username, a little bit about yourself and also the, you know, how often do you play Minecraft sort of thing, like Hypixel specifically, you know, that sort of thing. Now you won't need a microphone, but you do need to have Discord for a couple reasons. In Discord, you can obviously use voice chat, but you don't actually need a microphone. And the main reason why we want to do that is because you never know, when we have like guild events where we all hop in a Discord and like, you know, play together sort of thing. But of course, if you don't have a microphone, you won't be able to talk, but you'll still be able to hear everybody else, which is the important part. Because you need to be able to hear what everybody else is saying. And then, you know, also we're going to be using the guild, uh, the guild Discord for, um, like, I would say announcements and updates and style stuff, you know? Like, welcoming new people to the guild and stuff. So, yeah. And now the guild, the guild chat will need to be kept family friendly at all points. So if you're somebody who likes to curse or, you know, do that sort of thing, then you might not want to apply for the guild because we're going to make it that the guild chat has to remain family friendly at all times since there will probably be members of the guild of a younger age range since there isn't really an age requirement because again, that just doesn't make sense for me to add an age requirement. So we're just going to do that. We're going to go up here. But yeah, the Castaways Guild will definitely be improving. I think we can already have a decent amount of members though, but of course, the more the merrier. And remember guys, if there's anything else you want to let me know in your comment application style thing, make sure to do so because I will actually be checking these comments quite often. And if you're a fellow YouTuber, you can make sure to apply as well. There's no difference if you're a YouTuber, not a YouTuber, etc. And finally, make sure to share this video with all your friends who you may want to join the guild because they can apply as well, but you can't apply for your friends. Your friends still have to apply by themselves. And now if you don't comment you won't be able to get in so you guys can't message me on hypixel and be like yo can i join the guild that's not exactly how it works you gotta use the video comments here that's just how we're gonna do it instead of having like an application like we do for stream mods just doesn't make a lot of sense to set all that up for something as simple as a guild although the guild will definitely be a pretty big thing which i think a lot of you guys will enjoy you know and i'm definitely going to be looking for a team of people in this guild who are very good at mega since I would like to do mega highlights, etc., you know, style content in the future. So it would definitely be awesome if we can have a group of people who are really good at mega in here. But obviously, even if you're not good at mega, you should still apply, you know. But yeah, you can't, if, even if you're a little bit lower on the stats, then you might as well wait a couple days until you get the required stats before you apply. Since, as I said before, I'll be checking the comments on this pretty much every single time somebody leaves one. So, yeah. And there we go. Let's go over here. Give this guy the wreck. And also, like, as long as your name is appropriate and that you stay appropriate in chat, all will be good there. The Discord will also be kept appropriate. So pretty much everything will be kept appropriate. All right, boom. And there we go. We got that person killed right there. Uh, boom. All right, you just have iron. That's speed. <laughs> that is speed not poison nice try though whoa uh, i don't like that i don't like how they have that knockback but yeah all right so let's get this last guy taken out but that's the guild 
Hopefully you guys will enjoy the guild. I was originally going to save it for like a giant special or something, but a lot of you guys have been asking, and I think it's time that we kind of open it up to everybody. So let's do just that. All right. But yeah, I'll definitely be playing with people in the guild quite frequently. Furthermore, one of the main purposes of the guild is not so much to actually just have a group of elite, you know, players on the Ivy server. It's to have a very positive and uplifting community where everybody can, you know, be friends and there won't be any or little or no drama. That's kind of like a game goal here. And then also, you know, I have something that I still haven't addressed yet, which is the concept of guild officers. Now, a lot of people are probably going to want to become a guild officer because I know that that's just something that a lot of people generally are interested in. But I'm going to say that we are not going to have any guild officers for a while, most likely, until we really kind of need them, which we'll kind of decide as a guild when we get there. But at the moment, I don't really think we're going to need them for probably the first couple, you know, bits, just because we should be able to handle most of it, if not all of it, you know, by ourselves. I think I can handle the actual, like, process of, you know, adding people to the guild, removing them, all that sort of thing. I can do that just fine. So I don't think we're going to need any officers, but we'll see about that one. So, yeah, let's go for you up here. Oh my gosh, can I? Hi. Boom. I want your helmet. That's the only reason I haven't like already thrown you into the void. Because I want your helmet. Actually, I'll just take you for your helmet. Uh, boom. So, yeah. oh my gosh. Ooh, there we go. That guy completely got destroyed and owned. I'll take it. And then we can just pop down here and get the victory. Now, if you have any questions, make sure to let me know down in the comment section. I'll be responding to them and replying. And make sure to apply down there. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And hopefully I'll see some of you guys apply for the guild. Bye.